it's your girl Shy Gemini. I know it's been a while. I've been extremely busy getting my daughter prepared for graduation that is taking place actually on this week. So extremely busy, but I wanted to come in here and give you guys my review for Basketball Wives season seven. And this is episode four, I think. <laughs> we'll roll with it. Anyway, so basically, the episode starts off where it left, and that was at OG's party with Evelyn, Tammy, Jackie arguing. So again, it's been established that Tammy and Evelyn will not be friends. Um, they're not here for each other. It's done. Jackie is still trying to stay her case with Evelyn. Evelyn is not here for it. She's done. She doesn't want anything to do with Jackie. So it is what it is. Jackie has to accept it. While in there talking, Jackie again reiterates to Jennifer that she's messy. And it's true. Jennifer, you are messy. You're keeping up the mess this season. I see you're in like full force. I don't know if you're trying to make sure you guarantee your spot for the next season. I don't know. But it's not a good look, honestly. So Jen was like, I'm not being messy. I'm not being messy. You know how she talks. I hate the way she talks. She has that New York Valley girl talk. Like you're from New York, but you sound like a Valley girl. It's so annoying. But anyway, some reason when OG comes over there and uh, see what's going on, she says whatever she says. I think about we have to come together or figure out what it is. And Kristen gets in her feelings and say, we don't have to do anything or something like that. It was so stupid and so trivial that I can't even remember exactly why they started arguing. But they got into it. OG was like, well, you can leave if you want to. Kristen was like, well, yeah, I have a child and a husband at home. And OG was like, really? Do you really have a, a husband at home waiting on you? Why she say that? Kristen was over it. And she started calling her B. And I'm like, I don't understand how they got into it just that fast. It was crazy. So we can see now Kristen and OG are not going to be here for each other. Kristen was going in on how OG looked and how titties was going from left to right, side to side. <laughs> so, <laughs> they're not here for each other. So Kristen left. She's like, I'm out of here. It ended like that. <sighs> We see Shawnee and her son, I think Miles is his name. He looks like one of those characters. I don't know if it's Veggie Tales or something, but he looks like a character. I hate those dreads. Like, these young boys with these dreads, they, it's not like the grown men that we see where they have them nice and they well kept. They just be looking like dirty mop, like <laughs> dirty mop hair. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going off into something totally different. They go to check out this spot for Shiny's Weed Dispensary. And I'm like, that's going to be a good business. That, in California too, Shiny about to get paid. So, congratulations on that and uh, securing the bag with Shaq's money, allegedly. <laughs> that's what they say. <laughs> she stole Shaq's money. I don't know. But anyway... Miles, she said, we're going to do a soft opening on 420. And he's like, a soft opening. And he was like, that makes me think of buttholes. And I'm like, first of all, I would never want to say anything like that to my mother. Like, these kids today, they have no filter. They say whatever they want. I wouldn't feel comfortable saying that. But she wants to do a soft opening for 420. Again, a great idea. So Kristen F. Jen, shiny meat for drinks. Kristen is talking about how bad OG looked at her party, how her titties was going from left to right, her head wrap, everything, and basically how she's not here for her. What she said to her about her husband, I don't understand why that triggers you. You know you have a good husband, right? You know what your husband is capable of. Why did you let something so petty get you so upset? Like... Okay, she can say what she want. You know your husband better than she do. So, any again, teenage high school mess. But um, they talk about the Evelyn, the the argument between Evelyn and Tammy, and basically how they're not gonna be here for each other. It's done. And she was like, I'm not gonna promote when she threw out that bonnet when 
Tammy threw out that bonnet for Evelyn to do her impersonation. She said, I'm not promoting that uh, bonnet. Like, forget that. I'm not doing that for you or whatever. And they laughing about that. Then Jen, again, with the mess, carrying the bone, come in telling Shawnee that Tammy was upset with her, that she didn't laugh. And I'm like, I don't think it's that she didn't laugh, that she laughed at her. Um, I don't think Tammy could care less about them laughing about her. Her issue, which is still petty, that when Shawnee came to her comedy show, and Tammy made that joke about Evelyn, she didn't laugh. So that's her whole gripe. It's not that they were laughing at the joke that Evelyn made. She said, if you're going to laugh, laugh at both of them. Make it even. Again, I know it's a petty argument, but that's how Tammy feels. I don't think she was upset and in her feelings about them making fun of her. It is what it is. Um, Tammy doesn't give me that impression that she's that weak-minded to feel some kind of way. It's just that, okay... You gonna laugh at her joke? Laugh at my jokes too. But anyway, Kristen, Kristen is talking to her husband at home, um, still upset about what OG said. Again, why? You just met this lady. She don't know your life. Why are you letting it bother you? If you can tell, she's kind of young in the mind because she also was talking to her husband about one another baby. And he ain't here for it. Her husband does not want another baby right now. He said we can't, and I don't think it's a thing where they can't afford it, but he wants to make more money in order to have more children. But you know how some of these stay-at-home wives are? I ain't trying to talk about nobody. I ain't discriminating against nobody, but, you know, she feel like the baby is getting up there in age now. She wants the newness of a baby, whatever that means, but... I don't like when I see situations like this where it's one um, person in the relationship that is wanting and begging for a baby and the other one is like, no, I'm not here for it. I don't want it right now because that often leads to disaster and separation and all that stuff. So, but she is definitely thirsty for another kid and the husband is like, no. So... They show Jackie and Doug doing the tango dance lessons, and she's saying that they have to keep it spicy, and they make love everywhere, and they'll even come to your house. I'm like, I wouldn't want to see Jackie and Doug doing nothing. I wouldn't want to see that, because I got a feeling Jackie be putting a strap on. Like, that's just honestly me speaking. <laughs> so, I wouldn't want to be a part of that. Nah, Jackie, you can't come to my house and do that. No, you keep that over there at the Christie's house. But Tammy and Shiny meet again, and Shiny says she um, heard about the party, and um, they talked about OG and how bad she looked. <laughs> oh, gosh. And then Tammy goes into the conversation that, um, no, Shiny, I'm sorry. Shiny goes into the conversation that she had with Jen about Tammy being mad and she's like oh really again messy Jennifer she was like look she understands that she's friends with Evelyn that's fine but they she feels like they need to draw a line in the sand and like you know make it not make it even but you're gonna be her friend you be her friend stop carrying the bone doing the usual messy stuff and again with the whole joke thing you're gonna laugh at um Evelyn's joke laugh at my jokes too so shiny she was sitting there acting like she understood where Tammy was going but I don't know who knows I don't trust shiny I think shiny's sneaky I've said that before and I'll continue to say it. I don't I don't trust her as a friend honestly speaking I think she's all for self I don't really feel like she I mean if she leans anywhere I think it'll be more towards Evelyn and Jen not Tammy so I wouldn't trust her Kristen and her husband go to um, make drinks at a cocktail lab. They make the Moscow Mule, which is really good, by the way. Again, they have the talk about the baby. She wants him to have enough drinks so that he can want to have a baby, but not too many drinks to the point where he can't perform. So, but his her, her husband was still uh, sober. He had his wits about him. He was getting a little tipsy, but he still stood on the fact that he does not want any children, no more children. So that's going to be um, 
tough for her. He seemed like he ain't the one that can be persuaded super easily. So she gonna have to really work hard on him. Um, Shawnee, Tammy, and Jen meet at a makeup store. Um, Jen again asking her how she felt about the pool party. And she was like, you know, it is what it is. We not friends. We've established that. Whatever. Jen still wants Evelyn and Tammy to get along. Tammy like, look, she'll be cordial with her when she see her, but it is what it is. You can't force people to be friends that don't want to be friends. I hate when people do that. Like, don't put me in a situation where I'm around somebody that I don't like. Like, as long as I'm cordial with them and I'm not being nasty and starting fights, leave me alone. Don't force me to be friends with somebody I don't want to be friends with, period. So fall back, Jen, damn. <laughs> Jeez. Jackie and her daughter talk about the whole Evelyn. <sighs> she, Jackie's upset with herself because she allowed Evelyn to take her to a place that she didn't want to go. Um, she then started talking about her daughters and her relationship. She asked Shani, did she talk to Takari? She said, no, she's done some things that she doesn't necessarily agree with. So she has to love her from afar. So they're basically talking and then Jackie's like, do you think that I was overprotective? And Shani said something along the lines that, um, I don't know how they got to this point, but she told Jackie basically that she's never been a hugger, never been affectionate. And Jackie was like, you know, she was taken back by that. I can tell that that kind of affected her, that her daughter didn't feel like that she got enough hugs and stuff like that. And I can kind of relate because in my family and with my mom, like we're not affectionate people. We don't hug like that. I feel like as I got older and as my mom got older, she has become more affectionate. Um, but when growing up, we weren't huggers and stuff like that. And I was actually okay with it. It didn't bother me. I know some people, it bothers them, but it didn't necessarily bother me. I felt like I knew that my mom loved me. So it was no need for her to be constantly hugging and kissing up on me like that. So, But some people need that and I get it. So... Jackie was saying she knows she got issues that she has to deal with from her childhood, so she's going to go talk to somebody. And I'm like, that's good, Jackie, because, yeah, you do have some issues you need to really work on. Next thing, we see Shani and her mom. I really don't want to focus on this because they were talking about she let her mom know she was doing the weed business and how she would like to use some of her recipes for the weed shop or whatever. Shiny's mom is one of those goody goody. She said, "Straight, go to probably go to church, go home type of women." I just want to acknowledge Shiny looks exactly like her mom. <laughs> That's all. That's all I really wanted to say. They look exactly alike. Alike, and she seemed like a sweet person. Her name is Dear. So, yeah. Malaysia rides in the car with Jen to meet Evelyn, and they talk about. Um, Jen tells her about what's going on with. Uh, baby making hips Tim so they talk about that then she was saying how she wants everybody to get along and she wants Malaysia and Elle specifically to talk outside of Jackie because she knows that Malaysia and Jackie are friends and she wants her to get to know Evelyn without Jackie being an influence they get to the restaurant they talk Malaysia says there's no issue with Evelyn, she just didn't like the CC situation. It kind of rubbed her the wrong way because that's her family. And Evelyn said, you know, I understand that. I apologized about that, but it's cool. Like, I don't have no beef with you either. They just going to see where it goes. They're willing to talk. Um, they, they're going to try to build, I guess, build something without the presence of Jackie. But Jackie's going to have a problem with that regardless because, you know, Jackie don't like to share her friends with nobody. So that's going to be an issue for you, Malaysia. Hopefully it won't, but I think it will. Jackie goes to therapy, and I think it was much needed. 
And she says she hurts people because when she feels that she's hurt, she gets angry and lashes out on people. Now, then the therapist asked her when did that start, and she said it had to have been about seven or eight because her mom left because of some issues she was having. She was doing bad things. She put them in foster care. The foster parents would put their food separately, and if someone else in the household asked if they were hungry, she would say they would eat their fingernails. They could eat their fingernails for all they care. They don't care about them being hungry or not. So that bothered her, that hurts her, that makes her angry. Um, Jackie says she felt out of control. So when she feels out of control, she gets angry. And I can definitely see that. Um, I hope the therapy actually helps her to heal and even trickles down to her children because her children does do have issues, mainly the older one. So hopefully she can work things out. And I like the fact that she said that people have this stigma about seeing the therapist. And that's true, especially black people. You know, black people don't like going to therapy. They feel like if you go to therapy, you're crazy. No, it's not that. You just may not be able to control your emotions and you need somebody to talk to. And that whole, oh, just pray it away. Yeah, you can do that. But you also, God sends people that can help you. That's why people go to school for therapy, so they can help you. So you got to get help. Ain't no just praying it away. I'm sorry. But that's basically how the episode ended. Um, it was all right. Uh, again, the messy, catty high school mess that's going to continue to go on. That's all this show is really about. It's not anything fun or anything to it. It's just about mess. So, and most of us, we're here for the mess. So <laughs> we'll continue to watch, but that's it guys. That is my review for Basketball Wives. I hope you all have a great day. I'm enjoying being off, um, doing these activities with my daughter. So, I love it. Have a wonderful day, guys. Thumbs up this video. Share. Subscribe. Join the family. Okay? Have a great day.